Remember when kids used to play outside, in the sun, family vacations on the beach, pockets stuffed with souvenir seashells? But those souvenir memories often got lost or forgotten. Wouldn't it be nice to turn that memory into a decoration? Copy that. There is an endless number of things you can duplicate with mold making material, but there are two methods that work best depending on the object you're copying. Objects with a flat cider base can be molded in one sitting with the one part mold method. Objects like the starfish don't have a flat portion anywhere, so they require the two part mold method. A two part mold is made through two separate pores, using plasticine in the bottom half of your mold to hold the object in place. Here's how you do it. First, we measure and cut a cardboard box big enough to fit the starfish. We then place and spread plasticine into the bottom of the box so that the whole floor is covered. Next, grab your starfish and press it into the plasticine so it is halfway covered. Now it's time for the mold making material. You'll want to mix equal measurements of part A and part B until the color is consistent. The first pour of mold making material should cover the entire half of your object that is exposed in the plasticine. Now wait approximately three to four hours for the mold making material to cure. Once that time has passed, cut and remove the plasticine and mold from the box. Try not to damage the box as you will be using it again to pour the second half. Remove all of the plasticine, cleaning off any little bits that may be clinging to the object or mold. Now place the mold back into the box with the cured mold making material on the bottom. Now is the time to add a straw or something similar to your object in order to create a pouring spout. In this case, we simply reused a little bit of the plasticine in order to create the spout. A pouring spout is a hole in the cured mold making material that allows you to pour in the substance you intend to use to make your duplicate objects. The second half of the project can now be measured, mixed, and poured over the rest of the starfish. Once again, wait three to four hours and the mold will have cured. It can now be removed from the box and your object can be removed from the mold. Cutting a mold to remove an object should be done in as few cuts as possible. We typically cut from the pouring spout and down the middle of our mold, but it does depend on the shape of your object. Cut the mold in small increments until you are able to pry the mold open to remove the object. Your two-part mold is complete and you can now make exact replicas of your object. You can use many different substances to fill the mold, but we recommend Art Resin. When combined with our colorful line of resin tints, Art Resin produces a strong, perfect copy of whatever object you've selected. Just like mold making material, Art Resin is a simple one-to-one -one ratio. Measure out equal parts of resin and hardener and mix thoroughly for three minutes. Once mixed, you'll have approximately 45 minutes of working time with the resin. Grab any color of resin tint and pour a few drops into the art resin. Mix it all together and pour your tinted resin into the mold right to the top. Best to let it sit for at least 24 hours. Art resin is hard to the touch after 24 hours, but a full, hardened cure will take 72. Now remove your starfish clone and boom, your very own memory of the sea. Use it to make a splash in your bathroom if you want. Or don't. I'm just fishing for ideas. So that's it. Please check out our other how-to videos in this series and keep making stuff. Mold making material is available now on artresin.com. Mold making material. Do you copy?